Have you ever passed by a barber shop and wondered what the heck is going on with those stripes? Why does it seem that they are moving upwards? I'll tell you, it's a super cool barber's pole illusion. So neurons in the middle temporal area specialize in integrating motion signals across space. And it's actually not an easy task. One of the important cues is something called scene segmentation. I'll show you how it works. Here I have a set of moving diagonal stripes, scientists call them drifting gratings. You could interpret their motion in different ways. They might seem to be moving downward, to the right or diagonally, and all these interpretations could be valid. It's hard to distinguish one from another. However, I can influence your perception by adding a rectangular aperture or a cutout. If I place it horizontally, the brain tends to perceive the stripes as moving to the right. When I rotate the cutout to a vertical position, it biases the brain into thinking the stripes are moving downward. Why does it happen? Well, your brain is looking for cues, especially at the point where the stripes meet the edge of the cutout. If you observe that point, it seems to move to the right, while the point on the right appears to move downward. Although there is a mix of evidence with 11 points suggesting rightward movement and 6 points suggesting downward movement, your brain leans more towards perceiving the stripes as moving to the right because you've got more evidence for the rightward movement. The opposite happens when you switch the aperture to a vertical position. What if the aperture is a square or a circle? Interestingly, in these cases, your brain tends to interpret the motion as the slowest possible speed, essentially moving perpendicular to the direction of the stripes. Isn't it cool? It shows how your brain is trying to make sense of what you see, sometimes falling into optic illusion traps. If you want to know more how your brain works, check out my YouTube series on the visual system. Cheers!